Hello world of YouTube, Archie here with another haunted place in Mass. Um, kind of got to be a little quick on this one, but uh, I think it's not said not to be known, but I think we had a serial killer in this town. Now, whether or not he lived in this in this town or Lemonster or the surrounding areas, I believe that I think you know there was a serial killer back in 1973. <clears throat> um, it started to me. It started um, articles I've looked up back in uh, June or July of 73. I will be bringing you to that spot too. It was in Rutland, Mass. And the reason why I think that it was a serial killer here is because of the simple fact that he got away with it in Rutland. There's DNA supposedly being tested. And um, nobody knows. I haven't heard no updates. I've been trying to look into it, but... Nobody knows who did that murder in Rutland. And um, the murder was of a teacher and some, I think she might have been a teacher. And that's what makes me think that it was a serial killer because in Townsend back in 1973, in the months of September, a t another teacher was murdered. And what's similar to these stories is the one in Rutland, Mass, was a teach was a lady and her daughter, young daughter, both were raped and driven to a secluded road where I'll bring you, and I think that's where they were raped and killed. And this one here was it was another mother and daughter, or a uh, mother of two children here. Uh, this is Intervale Road in Fitchburg, Mass. It's off the uh, Bemis Road near John Fitch Highway area. And what struck me about is the similarities in murders. And the police said back then that the similarities, there is similarities in these six murders of women. But they, they say and claim that it wasn't a serial killer or the same person. Me, I think it was. And I think he started in Rutland and came down here just for the simple fact that he got away with it. But after 70, like January or February of 74, yeah, there was, I don't know what's after that. I'd have to look into more. That's when the murders from that point on that I tried to figure out stopped unless there's more murders but I, I've been having a problem trying to I don't know why them came up and I've been trying other years and nothing comes up you gotta pay for it and the articles and all this stupid crap but I gotta do some more investigating and stuff like that but um like I said I believe that this serial killer did exist and this is one of the apartments I gotta get out of here but I just wanted to show you this because there is people coming out now also I mean that I, I the reason why I believe that that's the apartment complex is because there's not too many this is a very short road and there's not too many um in all houses but there is a duplex over here but I don't believe it was this this house either. I'm I'm going with that house back there and back in 1986. It was pretty funny that I mean, me and my friend Adam Boyvin, he knew someone there. I think it was his old babysitter, and we had to go shovel her out. And I was in one of them apartments, so and there is a lot of people in there I can say that is uh I'm just gonna show you the area too oh boy here's a freaking road work but I mean a lot of I just seen a lady go in the house and I'm assuming 
Yeah, she's you know single maybe with kids, but there's a lot of a lot of people in that house that are like single. You can see that are just you know just they seem to be always rotating in that household as single people and stuff. But um it's just crazy to even think that there was a serial killer in this town. And, I, and I'm, I'm putting my words on that. Because of the similarities. The woman in towns, and I'm going to bring you there. I got to find. She was murdered in her backyard. and Or in her house. And then dragged in the backwoods of paths. I got to find. Hopefully I can find. To uh, And left there for dead of course. And was found two days later. The woman in Rutland was driven, oh, and the one in towns and her car was taken and left in, down the street. And someone tried to, I don't know, you know, this, this serial killer wasn't intelligent either, I believe. Because the guy took her car after he kills her in the house and drives it down the street to a dump, a local dump, and tries burying it. Or drove it into a, like a swampy mudded area and they found it <laughs> why he took it after he dragged the bodies in the wood woods is beyond me unless he doubted himself that's why I think that this was a serial killer because he had doubt and why would he steal the car and then oh I'm gonna go ditch it maybe he thought oh if I get caught with his car they're gonna find me and probably it wasn't <laughs> Go figure, it was a 1968 Camaro the woman had. So I'm believing that the guy wanted to keep it, but, yeah, gets caught driving it. Probably got all spooked and scared and tried just dumping it off. And then the one in Rutland, that car was either hijacked. It was hijacked. Um, so it's like this guy had this motivation. And to rape, kill, and who knows if he wanted to try and steal it. Obviously, there weren't you know, chop shops or something around here because that's what a smart person would do. But, you know, it's just some stuff that I've been getting, going over in my head and looking up, and I'm always looking up for new stuff, but it was pretty, pretty awesome to find that over. I mean, not in a good way awesome that they're dead, but to learn something about you know, history to me is just awesome. And to find out how dark and mysterious this town is. I mean, there's murders and shootings in here all the time, but people don't realize that, you know, fucking crazy people have been going on since the dawn of time. Like the Green River Killer or, you know, Ted Bundy and all these other idiots. And I'm sure this guy was trying to be one of them, like, you know, a woman beater, killer, has a weird demonic obsession of wanting to torture women and then kill them for some, but this has been going on since the dawn of time, sick, but I just want to maybe, you know, you never know, them cases are still unsolved, who knows what will happen and come out of it, I'd like to see something caught or but then again, you never know. Maybe the guy's dead, already in jail for something else. But other than that, I thought I'd share that one today. I'm going to have a lot more coming up. I'm trying to get the gas money in time to do it. Until then, whoop. hang on, YouTube. I am out.